good morning, good morning, guys, for whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a little bummed out about my iPhone breaking on me. And uh, one of the problems is because it's an old phone, I do not have any warranty left on it anymore because it's three years old, over three years. Since September, over three years old, right? So I do not have any warranty whatsoever left on it. So I'm kind of screwed. I pretty much have no other choice but to go out and get me a new one. Well, I guess I could get the screen replaced, but that usually costs 200 plus dollars on these kind of phones. Well, 600 feet, turn right on West 60th that's, Street. Uh, pretty much I would say three quarters of the way than what I would have to pay for uh, getting me a new contract phone except this one isn't contracted right this one is like kind of just pay as you go kind of deal because it was paid for right I paid right out for it three years ago so now uh, I pretty much will have to go with a contract phone because I can't I can't afford to get me another one paid right out and uh, I heard that Verizon will uh, give you like a monthly plan too for two years so I'll probably be ending up paying an extra 50 bucks a month but at least that's the only way I can really afford it right I can't uh, afford it any other way that's the only way I could really do it so uh, I'm probably gonna go down to Council Bluff and uh, get me a cab and go over to uh, to uh, the Verizon the store the left on I 29 South. see if I can set it up that way I really hope I can Anyways, let's get on down over there and uh, get our day started. Take the entrance to the left on I also uh, need to try and get to my customer. Mind you, I'm down to 532 miles. I actually did pretty good yesterday. Uh, I went a little further than I originally expected, so did pretty good in that area. So now, uh, well, we got probably what nine and a half hours worth of driving to do not too bad not too bad but they don't have any snow up here from the looks of things but it is almost as cold as it was in uh, in Manitoba like last night when I got here it, it was pretty cold all right light change <laughs> I don't want to sit here all day long all right Anyways, we'll be back in a few. Just made me a little bit of a pit stop, guys. Had to go use the man's room, and uh, around the same time, I got me a load offer. And so I was looking at my load offer, and uh, they want me to pick up a hazmat load out of Kansas City, Missouri. But uh, it requires a bunch of straps. It requires to have strap over every single pallet and I don't have that many straps so uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do I wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna tell me to uh, buy some straps at a truck stop somewhere but I don't have any money make a turn if possible and then I cannot buy any straps from my money unless they uh, put some money on my card and I can go take a cash advance and use that money to buy the straps but other than that I only have eight straps in my truck so uh, I cannot strap that load properly and it says clearly in the message driver is going to be responsible for any fines that occur if you don't have the amount of straps on there take the entrance to the left on i-29 south that you're supposed to have 
And I know I just took my dangerous good course only about a month ago, right? And uh, that's what they were telling us that these kind of loads that I'm going to be holding here do now require us to uh, have blocks on the floor so that way the product can't move. And then we're also required to have at the minimum of two straps on each pallet. So well, usually we have 22 pallets in the, in the trailer. That would mean I would have to have 24 uh, straps. Well, I don't have that many. We're only issued eight when we get a truck. So yeah, and that's what I have. Oh well, uh, I guess we'll see what happens, but uh, on this road I sent them that message miles. when I was parked there and said I only have eight straps in the truck, so whatever you guys want to do, it's up to you, but I can't hold the load if it needs that many straps. Alright guys, we have just made it down to Council Bluff. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of go-go juice up here and get me a little bit of a cash advance so I can get me a cab and go down to uh, the Verizon store hopefully and hopefully we can get us a new phone that would be nice yeah I do want yeah I do want cash I don't want anything else so that should be a-okay so, alright, says we're authorized for diesel, let's go ahead and put some Google juice in here. I'm not going to be putting a whole lot in here because I can't. I might be uh, overweight if I uh, put in too much fuel here. I'm just grab my GoPro here. Yeah, I think I'm only going to go ahead and put in uh, 60 gallons or something like that. Just so that way we have a little bit of fuel. I'm not even going to bother fueling up that side. I'm just going to fuel up this side and that should be good enough. Alrighty guys, here we are. We got the uh, brand spanking new iPhone. Yeah, look at that guys. So, let's get it unpacked and uh, make our way back to the truck stop guys. Alright guys, it has been a very, very tough day for me today. I know we spent a few hours here this afternoon at the truck stop and uh, we spent a couple of hours here and uh, trying to get my phone that took a while and then trying to get some straps I have them right there as you guys can see I got me a few extra straps so uh, that took a good while till we got all that straightened out because the load that I'm supposed to be hauling tomorrow requires extra straps, right? And so by the time we finally got everything done, it was starting to get dark already, so I didn't uh, make any more video clips as you guys saw. But uh, yeah, so here is, uh, here is my new phone, guys. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the uh, gold uh, iPhone. Uh, iPhone 10s Max that's the one that I went with really really nice phone I'm very happy with it so far I got this uh, completely clear case by Otterbox by that brand name Otterbox I believe it's called yeah Otterbox I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to tell right there or not but anyways really really nice phone wouldn't have been able to do it without uh, having my previous phone all paid off, right? And so now I could just go down to Verizon and get it. Uh, all I had to pay is the taxes today and that's it. So uh, and then I bought the case and that was it. So only ran me 180 bucks and then I just go on a payment plan where I, every month I pay like 60 bucks for the phone and uh, that's it, right? So anyways we had to we had to do it right my other phone was shot the so only way i could do it is is do it through verizon do it do it to uh through a two-year contract i don't have the money to pay out uh, for an expensive phone like this so anyways we are now at our customer we stayed here for the night actually yes indeed we did so this is actually the next morning already 
and I still got another 30 minutes before I can go on duty so I finished figured I get up finish my video and uh, try and make something at least I know we only got a couple of clips in today's vlog so far but yeah it's been a pretty stressful day for me I guess because of uh, well my phone broke on me I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna be able to get a new phone and and then uh, I was having to argue a little bit with dispatch on the straps and stuff like that so everything wasn't the greatest today but oh well we're hopefully tomorrow will be a good day again right so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys appreciate you guys watching and come back tomorrow and see what we can do tomorrow for you guys so have a great day and we'll see you back here tomorrow